everybody. Welcome to Storytime for Thursday, January 28th, 2021. My name is Brad, and uh, we are, on behalf of the Wilsonville Library, are here. Uh, we are sharing a special encore presentation of one of our favorite stories. Uh, it is It's a Tiger by David La Rochelle. Uh, we did this original um, recording last year, uh, and we hope that you found it before and had some fun with it. We hope you'll have some more fun with it today up on your feet. Before we dive into that, a couple quick announcements, and then we're going to do some activities together. You can look below uh, in the description, and there'll be a link to these activities, the website where you can get these and print these off. Um, you can also pick up the packets from our library. You should have a paper bag with it for you to do today's activity, uh, one of our crafts. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So it's a tiger we're going to dive into in just a minute. But first, uh, a reminder that uh, we've got our winter reading program going on. So you can go to our website, wilsonvillelibrary.org, and uh, look that up. You will, it'll link you to the Beanstack app, or you can print out... Um, a copy of the reading logs and activity logs for use at home. Uh, the Beanstack app is a fun way on your mobile devices or your computer to track your, your reading and your family's reading uh, and earn badges as well as get entered into the drawings for the end of the winter reading challenge. So we hope that you will join us for that winter reading challenge. It's going all the way through the end of February. So you've got plenty of time to still hop on and do lots of the fun stuff that's there. Um, and we will be back next week in February with our very uh, first live story time, as well as back to our live toddler time and baby time. So we hope you'll join us uh, on Tuesday, February 2nd for toddler and baby time at 1030 AM. That'll be live on Zoom and YouTube streaming um, or and and or join us on Thursday, the 4th of February at 1030 for our first live story time of the year. That's gonna be great uh, too. It should be the same Zoom number. Uh, check the website or information. We'll try and put it down below as well. You can participate on Zoom uh, and then we get to talk and interact. Should be lots of fun. Or uh, you can just watch live on YouTube at your TV, on your TV at home. So whatever is easiest and best for you and your family. All right, let's dive into our activities today for It's a Tiger. Uh, I'm excited, should be pretty fun. This one, um, our first page, you see our tiger hanging out here? It just says, the sneaky cat from It's a Tiger seems to pop up everywhere. Where do you think he is now? The city? The grocery store? Your bedroom? Hmm. Use your imagination and draw the background where you want the tiger to be. So you can, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a little bit. I'm just gonna use uh, my black pen that I've got here. One thing that you can do if you'd like, you could fast forward, you could jump ahead and do the story and then come back and do these activities uh, together with us too. I will go through them maybe a bit quicker. Uh, and so feel free to pause anytime, take your time, enjoy. Uh, our second one is a word find. I'll show you that in just a sec. I won't do the whole thing. You guys can work on that on your own. Okay, but first I am going to draw, let's see. I think I liked, there we go, sample. I'm gonna put my tiger in the city. So I've got a road I'm drawing through. And then some buildings. Some tall skyscrapers. You can put your tiger wherever you want your tiger to be. And I think. I've got some really big buildings. I'm gonna put a little house right here too, right in the middle of the city, little house. <laughs> and maybe across the street from all those big tall buildings is a park with some trees. It looks like our tiger is escaping the big city to get into the park. I'm gonna put like a pond over here. He's dipping his feet in the pond even. <laughs> 
having fun with this. I hope you guys are too. Okay, so there. I drew a little bit of a city scene. You can see the city in the background. He's got his toes in a pond. You guys can color that in if you would like to. We would love to see your work, whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's your pictures here or whether it's the uh, paper bag puppet we're gonna make together here in just a minute. Uh, anytime you are doing activities at home, if you take pictures uh, of your crafts and things uh, or video of you doing It's a Tiger story with us, we love to see those. You can always send those to us at children's at wilsonvillelibrary.org. Uh, if we have your permission, we will repost on some of our social media stuff as well. So, um, all right, now I'm going to use my pencil in case I make any mistakes. I can erase that, okay? And I'm going to start our word find. So you see this. You may, I don't know if you've had a chance to do these before. But down below, there's a list of words. And our first word is bear, B-E-A-R. So I'm gonna look in this bunch of letters all up here and see if I can find that pattern of letters. So this is a fun activity. I know we've got all kinds of different age activities. You might have littler kids, this might be new to them. But um, see, letters are just different shapes. So right now it's really about matching the shapes and then seeing where they go. Oh, look, I found a B and next to that is an E and an A and an R, just like bear. So I'm going to circle the word bear and then I can cross it out below. So you can see right there how I did it. Circle the word bear and then cross it out below. You guys can take your time, do some of those. Maybe you'll some of those words for you older kids, they'll pop up right away. I know I see one hiding right along the bottom. <laughs> uh, one word hiding right along the bottom, a bunch of different animals that you might find in the jungle there. So have fun with that word find. I'm gonna do more of that later on my own because I really do enjoy those on my own. And I'm gonna get into our third and final activity here, which is going to be our uh, own tiger puppet, okay? So the instructions say color the tiger, cut out, cut pieces out and glue them to a paper lunch bag, add stripes to the paper bag with a crayon, add whiskers to the tiger face, start playing with your tiger puppet. So you can do as much of that or as little as you like. So I'm gonna do some coloring now. You can color along with me. You can fast forward to the story time if you would like. While I'm doing this, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Just a reminder about our winter reading challenge. There's lots of fun, interesting activities. Uh, if you have not had a chance to check that out yet, I really recommend it. Um, some of them are reading, and you can always read together. Uh, using the Beanstack app, you can uh, manage your whole family's um, reading logs together. So mom and dad, um, brothers and sisters, you guys uh, that are all in the same household can manage those all in one place if you'd like. You can also do your reading together. Okay. All right. I'm working. I got the tiger tail stripes filled in with the black. I'm going to work on the little arms. You can make your tiger whatever color you'd like as well. I'm going to do my tiger stripes in black, so sort of a traditional tiger. And do his little nails in black too. And then I'm gonna use, I've got some bright orange, so I'm gonna have a bright orange tiger. But you could have maybe a rainbow tiger, or maybe you want to do a purple tiger. Tiger, we could make tiger whatever color we want with our imagination. All right. I'm moving on to the face now. Now you take your time. There is no rush. You can always pause my video and take, do whatever you would like. Come back when you're ready. You could skip ahead and just do this on your own if you would prefer as well. I'm having fun doing it here with you. I hope you're having fun doing, have been, <laughs> hope you've been having fun with us uh, all month. If you didn't get a chance, we've been doing this for the month of January, each Thursday, 
we've been showing an encore presentation of one of our uh, favorite stories on the go from last year. So you can go and get all the activities and do all the weeks that you may not may have missed before. Okay. So I've got my tiger stripes all filled in. Now I'm gonna paint like I'm gonna paint. <laughs> I'm gonna color in with my marker here. It's actually a highlighter, so hopefully it should be bright, bright orange. And you can do your tiger whatever color you would like. Ooh, it's gonna be a fun looking tiger. And these have been really have been some of our favorite stories we jumped into last year. And we are looking forward to getting back together with you live, doing some activities, as well as sharing some of our other favorite stories and books that we haven't had a chance to, to do yet. We're looking forward to doing those all on Zoom. Where everybody stays safe and healthy right now. Someday we are eager to know when we'll get to all be back together and do story time in some other ways too that we're maybe a little more familiar with. Okay, my paws are colored in. How are you doing? What color is your tiger? Oh. I would love to see these. If you have been doing these activities with us, next week at 10.30 on Thursday, February the 4th, if you have your crafts and activities still from this month, we would love to see them live. We like to have some real interactive time when we're together on Zoom. That's one of the things we've been missing so much right now is being able to see your guys' faces, and talk with you guys and have fun moving together. All of those things that we normally get to do live. So we are really eager to get back to that. We'll get to do that next week. All right, my tail is colored in. Now let's see, let's see if we can get this face done too. Around all the edges. And then do more of a quick fill in, I think. Oh, I'm excited about how my tiger's looking at. Don't worry too much about staying inside the lines because you will cut your tiger uh, out next. And so if you follow along the lines, you'll just cut off all of that stuff where you go outside the lines with this one, okay? Have fun with it. Yeah. I hope, I hope to see some really, I wish I could do a bunch of these. So I could do multiple tigers. I think a rainbow tiger would be really fun. A tiger with rainbow stripes. <laughs> Maybe silver. Maybe you could leave him white even. And then he could have all kinds of cool rainbow stripes. Then going around the eyes here. And then I'm just going to do a real light fill in for the rest of my tiger's face. Again, you take your time doing it your way. Don't feel rushed at all. Parents, if you are here and doing it with us, then uh, just remember, Anytime you're doing activities like this, these are really great pre-reading and pre-learning skills, learning how to hold things, fine motor skills uh, with coloring, as well as like identifying the patterns that we've been doing, using your, your uh, using narrative skills, like the way that a story works and fits together when you retell these stories. And that's one thing you'll be able to do with this puppet. You could have this and come back to story time with it. 
and you do, it's a tiger. And you could bring your tiger out anytime we see the tiger. It's a tiger. And then you could run from your own creation. Oh, I'm very happy with this. I hope you are happy with yours when you finish it too. No rush. There's my tiger all colored in. Now I'm going to get my handy dandy scissors. If you are cutting from home, make sure that you have parent help if you need it, okay? Parent supervision, at least. I'm going to make this a little easier by cutting it into smaller pieces first. So I've got my tail. There we go. All right, tiger tail, set that to the side, to the side already. One paw. Okay, there's one paw off to the side. And another paw. There we go. We've got two tiger paws. And next, I will work on the base for the tiger. Right over here. Just gonna go right around to the ears. Right around. Some of you guys might have been, might have picked up our December take and make bag. And we did similar elephant and piggy paper bag puppets. These are really fun to do for a lot of different stories. There we go. Okay, now that I've got my pieces, so you can glue them on, or I've got my handy dandy tape here. Kind of do a quick version so we can see it together. Down to my last couple of pieces. Work smarter. And don't forget, you can color your whole bag, tail on the back side here. You can color your bag however you'd like as well. And then, it's a tiger! Run! <laughs> so there you go. Our paper bag is my paper bag tiger. I'll continue to decorate him out. We'd love to see the stuff that you guys do. Uh, thank you so much for joining, for being here, for doing these activities with me. I hope you've had a wonderful January of story times. And again, you can always go back and check those other ones out and you can do them all again. Now we're going to dive into our encore presentation of Stories on the Go and It's a Tiger by David La Rochelle. Good to be here with all of you guys too. Glad that you could join us and do a little story time to go with us. Yeah. So, uh, my name is Brad. And I'm Joe. From the Wilsonville Public Library. We're gonna sing our welcome song. You guys get your waivers ready. Here we go. Oh, it's time to wave hello to all my friends. Hello. Oh, it's time to wave hello to all our friends. Hello. Oh, it's time to wave hello. We've got so Yes. 
us a great story. And oh. actually, we have uh-huh. a great story. A that good we're book to share. share today. Mm-hmm. Yes, this one is, and this one's very active yes, too. It is lots of moving around. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to actually ask you guys to stand up on your feet with me. That's right, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, stand up because we're going to read. It's a tiger by David La Rochelle, illustrated by Jeremy Tanker, okay? Now, we wouldn't want to get eaten by a tiger, so if we see a tiger, together, we'll make sure we call it out, and then together we're going to run. Ready? Run! Yeah, make sure you're all warmed up, just in case we have to run from a tiger. Okay. I think we'll be safe, though, okay? We'll say, it's a tiger, run, if we if we come across one. All right. Let's go explore in the jungle, shall we? Oh, look at all this. There's there's monkeys playing. Oh, swinging over all the beautiful ferns and the trees. Look, they're hanging on vines. All kinds of vines hanging down like this one with stripes. It's a tiger! Run! Oh, no! Run! It's a tiger! Is he gone? All right. Let's explore someplace a little less likely to have a tiger. How about this dark cave? That's right, with all of the bats flying around. Oh, and their big eyes so they can see in the dark. Like that one over there, the big one with the whiskers. Oh, no. It's a tiger! Run! Ah! Run, everybody! Woo! Run! Oh! Oh! oh. It's gone. It's gone. Whew. Okay. Let's look around. Oh, here. Here's some rocks and, oh, there's some snakes. A tiger wouldn't want to be near any snakes. Look. Look at all the cool snakes. There's there's blue snakes, and there's and there's green snakes, and and look, there's a there's an orange snake with black stripes. Wait a minute, it's a tiger! Run! Oh no! Okay, it's gone. We should go somewhere that a tiger definitely would not want to go. How about on the water? Cats don't like water, right? So we could go down to the river and we'll hop on this boat. Yeah, with the captain. What a nice looking captain. He's got his his captain's hat on and, and his tail. Oh, no. That's right, it's a tiger, run, whoa, no. oh. oh, goodness, it's gone, oh, we should be safe here, this deserted island where no one ever comes except, well, maybe some pirates a long time ago. I think that's a pirate chest. It looks like there's two shiny gold pieces inside. <gasps> oh no! It's a tiger! Run! Oh no! Run away! Oh goodness! I'm running away! Oh! 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 The, the tiger looks sad, doesn't he? Oh. Um. Are you going to eat us, tiger? No? Oh. Oh, were were you just following us because you wanted a friend? Oh, well, well we could be a friend, couldn't we? Would would you like it? Could we pet you? Okay, okay. You guys, can you reach out and pet the tiger with me? Yes, pet the tiger. Oh, what a good tiger. Oh, thank you, tiger. It was so nice to meet you. Can you all say goodbye? 
Goodbye, tiger. <laughs> okay. Now we should be able to walk through the jungle and see the monkeys and the flowers and the vines and all the beautiful things without worrying about a thing. See, in fact, wait, that's a strange looking vine. <gasps> oh no! It's a crocodile! Run! Oh no! And that's It's a Tiger by David La Rochelle, illustrated by Jeremy Tankard. Well, that was so much fun. We saw a tiger. We did. And you did a lot of running. A lot of running. You know, say, how about if we have our friends mm -hmm. let us know what they're doing, what activities they're oh, doing. Maybe like, they're doing running. If they're out hopefully running. Hopefully not running from tigers, but maybe whatever running you're doing or hopping or jumping, right. you can make a picture for us or you can send us a photo or you can just write us. Tell yeah. us what's going on with you. That would be wonderful. We'd love to hear Yeah, from. we would. We definitely would. We're missing you guys. So let's get ready though and sing our goodbye song, all right? Here we go. Wave high. Wave high, wave Wave your elbows, time to fly. And your fingers, wave your fingers and say goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We'll see you guys again soon.